Artist George McCalman took an interesting approach when it came to depicting some of the under-celebrated figures in America's black history. He challenged himself to, ba to paint a single black history pioneer every day for a month, and over several years, he's created profiles and portraits of 145 people in politics, science, literature, music, and more. Wow, and in his uh, new book, he tells the unique story and personality of each subject. It's called Illustrated Black History, Honoring the Iconic and the Unseen. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Robin, Larry. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for being with us. Um, let's go through some of these people, and some of them may be completely unfamiliar to some of our viewers. Uh, James Hemings. Yes, who is also known as Thomas Jefferson's son. And he was, uh, talk about, he was the first American to be trained as a chef in France? Yes, yes. Um, Thomas Jefferson um, took him to Paris, and his son trained and, and, became, um, and became a chef. Unbelievable. Wow, look, it, it seems like all this art is very different. Yes. <laughs> yes. Usually someone like, you're in one lane. This is, this is yes. yeah, very unique. Yes, I, I decided to, you know, black history in and of itself is, uh, is a subject of a lot of public conversation right now. And from the inside out, what I wanted to do was shine a light on Americans that other Americans don't know that much about. And I wanted to really individualize them and, and give them their due, not as, as just accomplishments, but as human beings. Let's talk about baby Esther Jones, born in Chicago. Tell people who she is. Yes, um, she is the inspiration for Betty Boop, that we um, that public figure that we all know. Um, but Baby Esther Jones originated in Chicago. She is a Chicago native. Wow. So she was doing the boop boopy doop, and it was it just yes. that idea was just the stolen from her. Yes, it was appropriated from her. Oh. We talk about cultural appropriation often, but this is an example of someone that toiled in relative obscurity while someone else took her ideas and went on to much acclaim. Wow. Wow. All right, the next one is Dr. Guy Bluford, the first black person to uh, launch into outer space. Yes, yes. Um, he is someone that I found really fascinating. I mean, I found all the figures fascinating, but they do lots of, um, you know, he, he did a lot of different things. And, you know, being uh, an astronaut was just one of his accomplishments. And so I wanted to profile him not just because he was um, an astronaut, but because he mastered many disciplines at the same time. And next up, let's talk about Cato Alexander from the 19th yes. century. Yes, one of my favorites. He actually invented the cocktail um, that, you know, that example of contemporary modern life that we all know and love. Most people don't know that the cocktail itself was invented by a black man. Wow. Uh, Madam C.J. Walker, the first female self-made millionaire in America. Oh, and I saw the movie about her, but yes. Octavia Spencer was so good. Exactly. Yes. And, and even though, you know, the thing about this book is that uh, you can reduce everyone to their kind of one or two line accomplishments. But these every story in this book is just really well rendered. I, I really wanted to tell the, um, the sacrifices that these pioneers made. Hmm. Wow. And so, it, it, as Larry mentioned, I, you're not doing each portrait in the same style. How did you pick a specific style? Uh, did it reflect what you thought was the personality of the person you were drawing? That is, that's a fantastic assessment. That is true. I, I really kind of communed with the persona, personality. A lot of the artists in the book are rendered in their original style. You showed um, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and I painted him as if he were himself a painting, one of his own paintings. Oh. Wow. Now, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, of course, is someone that everyone knows. Is that someone, did you coordinate with him in any way about this uh, project? No, actually, a lot of the pioneers, um, I, I have met a few of the pioneers since, since, certainly since the book came out, and actually even before. But Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is one of my favorite uh, public figures because he is a scholar mm -hmm. and a writer in addition to being um, an accomplished uh, sports figure. 
Well, it's fascinating. The book is Illustrated Black History, and you can find more of George's work on his website, and there's his social media on your screen. Thanks so much for being Thanks, with us. Thanks, George. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank sure. you. Time now.